weekend with some fun. That's right, Joe Breezy here getting us in the mix and testing our trivia knowledge today. This is true. We're going to play a new game show. We love our game shows yes. here at Local on 2. Yep. So stand by for that. But let's start off with comedy uh, because tonight Charlie Barons is in town uh, and he's bringing his good old fashioned tour to oh. TPAC, which is really neat. Now, he's from Wisconsin, uh, totally blew up on social media, making skits, bits, the whole thing. Really exploded over the past few years. Now, if you're from the Midwest, this is like right up your alley. He's also a New York Times bestselling author, Emmy winning journalist, the whole thing. Uh, he has like almost 8 million followers. Wow. And fun fact, Danielle and him used to work together in Dallas. <gasps> no uh, way. They're like super good friends. So we're excited to see him tonight and hang fun. and catch up and all that. And he's just a great dude. That's cool. Yeah. Like he's a really, really cool guy. You That's know? gonna be fun. You're gonna be there for sure, no yes. doubt. Yeah, definitely excited about that. So Barbies, where are you at? And I'm not talking about Barbie as in like the movie. I'm talking about Nicki Minaj, Nicki oh. Minaj and her fans. So mm -hmm. she's taking the stage Sunday night at Bridgestone with her Pink Friday tour, world tour or two world tour. Uh, anyways, the show's gonna be super lit. She's in big time demand. They actually added a second show. Wow. This is her highest selling tour to date. She's also been doing this so this uh, tour solo, no features, no guests nothing uh, she still has like literally earned the biggest female rap album debut of the 2020s wow. plus she's the first female uh, like rap artist to land a number one album in two different decades so uh, the game is real she just continues to crush it you know plus there are premium packages which gets you into her gag city VIP lounge which I think um, is a really fun name <laughs> for activation <laughs> so hey you got it all man it's different strokes for different folks we don't judge so have some fun Sunday night you know um, I got a chance to interview her a few times she's a lot let's just say that this is her and I uh, in Atlanta the last time uh, I interviewed her um, anyway so yeah like shout out to person? Nikki she's just a lot she's really intense she corrected me a few times it was the kind of, she was kind of angry the whole time something. she was angry I'm like I'm a nice guy why are you angry oh, yeah it was a whole thing it was arms. very uncomfortable, but it was great. I'll find the <laughs> YouTube thing. Totally, totally, totally. Yeah, totally. I showed her. You know what I mean? She was like up and coming. So all that. <laughs> okay, pop news. All right, let's do it. So how about a little Travis Kelsey check-in? Okay. So uh, the New York Post is actually uh, reporting that he's going to set. He's going to host a new game show called Are You Smarter Than a Celebrity? That's going to be on Amazon Prime. You remember the show Are You Smarter Than yeah, a Fifth Grader? It's iconic, so they're going to bring it back, obviously focus on focus on celebrities instead of children. I think huh. that's cute. That, Which, that'll be cool. That'll I can see cool. him doing that. People love him. He has a great personality, big presence. He wants to do more in the show business and all that. He can bring a young, younger audience because mm -hmm. of him and Taylor, obviously. So, mm -hmm. Which got my wheels turning and got us thinking here. Uh -oh. So we're going to play a game. You ready? Yeah. Yes. Are you smarter than Good Morning Nashville? Oh, I love oh. this. All right. Here's how it works. First of all, Laura and Larissa, you each get a paddle. Okay. Now, he, uh, so you're going to be joined by some of your favorite News 2 anchors from Good Morning Mash, uh, Nashville who are going to pose a question. Basic trivia questions to test your knowledge. Okay. Raise your paddle if you know the answer, and if you answer correctly, you get a point. Okay. The person with okay. the most points at the end of the game wins. Bragging rights, which is the most important thing to <laughs> right. us here on Local on 2. So we're getting ready. Without further ado, okay. again, it is time to play Are You Smarter Than Good Morning Nashville? <laughs> yes! All let's right, do this. here we go. The first question from Neil Orn. Let's check it out. All right, you two, I'll be home watching, and I will be highly disappointed if you don't get this one. Here goes. What was the name of the pet dinosaur on the TV show The Flintstones? And he sounded something like. Arr, 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 arr. Hey, right. Laura, raise your paddle first. Dino. Dino is correct. Yes. One point. All wow. right, good deal. Moving right along. The second question uh, is from Nikki. Let's check it out. Hi, girls. What was the first animal ever to be cloned? Hint, it wasn't the ah. newborn. Laura had her paddle oh, first. No! Larissa, you spoke first. But... Is it a goat? <laughs> incorrect. Sheep. Sheep is oh. correct. With the comeback. Tie score. Here we go. The tiebreaker. Third question from Marcus and Megan. Let's check this out. Hey, Larissa and Laura, it's Megan and Marcus. Now we have a question for you. What occasion corresponds to the longest day of the year? Good luck. Laura had her paddle up, go for Spring it. Spring equinox. No. Fall equinox. No. The summer solstice. <laughs> <laughs> tie game, we'll do a tiebreaker eventually. Okay, there all you right, go. all right. <laughs> oh, wait, there's, oh, wait, are there any more? We're good. I think that's it. Oh my God, that was awesome. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs> 